So it's uh, getting on six o'clock near the end of September. Sun will be setting before too long. This is sites. Uh, this is site six. This is the bluff off of site six. There's my tent. You can see people do uh, pitch tents here on the bluff. They use rocks for uh, securing the tent. <coughs> It is a beautiful view from here. I can see why you would want to do that. We'll have a quick little tour. Five and six. There's two tent pads here on six. Two good pads there, although somebody had uh, made a fire pit on one of them, so I disassembled the fire pit, and I'm going to get rid of those ashes. That was a pretty stupid thing for someone to have done destroy one of the two tent pads on this site when there's a really good fire pit next to the water you're supposed to use available fire pits not be making new ones it's a general rule leave no trace <clears throat> be nice you guys I'm making a video you're gonna be on YouTube I guess there might be a small tent that would fit right there. There's a couple of tables. This is not a great canoe launch on Site 6. Even now the water is probably seven feet lower than it is in the spring. Uh, I'll get over here and get a different view from with the sun behind us. So normally I'd be well underwater at this point of where I am. <clears throat> you can see the water marks there, the white line going across here. And we measured it earlier. It's about six feet, I think roughly um, this is awesome for swimming normally in the spring when the water's that high you can jump off of there it's really great and this is a great swimming area in general even now it's a pretty good swimming area you just can't jump off the cliff but it's still a good swimming area not a great uh, canoe launch you could get a canoe up here normally you're carrying them up all the way for site six and it's kind of difficult it's actually better now then when the high water is higher because when the water's higher you really just have a big drop off there's nowhere to kind of except right here where i'm walking is the only spot where it's kind of shallow <coughs> all right we'll go over and have a look at site five Site 5 has a better canoe launch, but uh, it's not a great swimming area. It's kind of swampy, and it's uh, yeah, just uh, not as good fishing either. Uh, we'll go look at the main site. There used to be tables here. Last year they were here. They're gone now, uh, right where that life jacket is clipped to the tree. I assume some friggin' jackasses tore them down to burn them or something. It's usually what happens. Uh, this fire pit we used two years ago and it's all grown in now. And the fire pit here kind of moves back and forth. There's two of them that are well established, one there. Uh, that's normally all underwater, at least in the springtime, where the canoes are. Uh, it's a big open area, huge area. This is a site five is, is pretty huge. Back there, there's so I'll show you the main tent pads. I mean, you could set up here if you wanted to. <coughs> right there is probably not terrible, but it's on its way up to the thunder box. So here. We've been here with the scouts. You can get a couple of tents here. Some roots sticking up, but it's not too bad. 
up here in this little knoll is really nice. We didn't need both sites, but we rented them for privacy just to, they're good together. Up here in the knoll is a nice area. And then up over the hill is the thunder box for the other site. These are great sites. I absolutely love them. Good for like really easy. There's the, um, the vehicle is right there. So it's only a quick paddle in. Sites five and six, Crotch Lake, North Frontenac Parklands.